Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the second problem in the introductory problems in the CSCS problem set, and it's called missing number. So let's look at what we have to do. We're given a all numbers between 1 through n except 1. We have to find the missing number. So that's pretty straightforward. So let's begin. Now we'll note of this 2 times 10 to the fifth upper bound for n because that means that we have to take or use long long types instead of integer types. So let's begin. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the directory for the problem new directory uh, 2 and then missing number and then we're going to be creating a use code template called main okay and then we're going to get rid of all this code like usual because we can just paste in the standard in and standard out instead of um, using files for now and then so we note the um, long long type and we're going to call it n and then we'll also have a vector of uh, long longs called x and then what we'll do is we take in n and then for integers 1 through or 0 through n minus 1 we will uh, take in a temporary long long and then we'll add it to uh, x and then once we do that, all we have to do is just loop through uh, all the values in. So actually, this should be long long. And then once we take long long, uh, j equals zero. Uh, or no, we can do j equals one. And then j is less than n or less than or equal to n because we want to make sure that we include n. And then we do j plus plus, and then uh, all we have to do is just see if x if x of j minus one equals or doesn't equal j, then what we do is we just do um, we count c out j, and then we return zero, uh, and then at the end, just in case it goes all the way through, we just go c out n, and then we are done. So let's test this. Uh, build and then we, once it loads, we can just press the play button and then let's paste in our input and we we get a wrong answer. So let's figure out why that happened. So we see. Hmm, C out j if j minus one. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to store all of x. That's what we forgot to do. And then now, with that fix, we should be good. Now, store it is a pretty time consuming thing, but it's not as time consuming as you would think. And with that, we see that we do indeed get the answer of four. Uh, so let's just make sure our answer is not as long as we would think we just import it and then and it gets accepted so that's another episode of the introductory problem set from cses if you'd like to see more comment like subscribe and if you have a better solution comment i might make a better video on it see you guys later